Hey, what's up? Today we're gonna talk about optimizing your YouTube videos to get you more, re more views and rank you a little bit better so you get more traffic. Hey, what's up? My name is Chris Hughes, and in this video, I'm gonna help you with optimizing your YouTube videos so you get more people watching them, more people consuming them. And this is stuff that I'm, I'm just starting to actually implement on my personal YouTube channel here. Uh, I've done it a lot on niches, so things that aren't really like me being on screen, but like other people doing stuff. And I'm starting to do it here, and I'm seeing some good results, so I wanted to share what I'm doing. And after this, I'm gonna actually share with you a resource where the, the guy who actually taught me this stuff, he has a full thing that teaches this in even more detail. So this is just introductory stuff for you. So start off with one thing that you might not be doing is when you're uploading a video to your actual page, like when you're dragging uh, the document from your desktop over to the upload screen, make sure that you name that file the keyword or the actual title that you're gonna be using in the video. What happens is YouTube sees this and they like it. Like it's a, it's just another way to get kind of a link, uh, something that like adds up for them as the computer to see that the keyword that you're talking about is actually chosen and something inside the video. Another thing to do, make sure one of the first things you say inside of the video is actually the keyword. Um, the computers are starting to get smarter and smarter so they're learning that the things that we actually say in the videos, like they can take that and take out the audio and then they can take that and they can convert that into text and then read that. Um, and my viewpoint on this is computers are just gonna get better at this, like the artificial intelligence is gonna get so good that if something isn't related to the keyword you're using, they're gonna punish that. So ideally you do wanna talk about the thing that you're using as the title uh, and this will help with eliminating like clickbait and all that stuff too. So. Let's get into the actual stuff for the description. So as you know, you're gonna to wanna to use a relevant term or keyword for the actual title of the video. And for this particular thing, uh, the video choice is probably gonna be called how to optimize your YouTube videos to get more views. So see, I'm saying that right now. So that's what the actual title will be. So there's like when you go to the upload screen, it'll be like title, and then there will be the description box, right? So you want a keyword in the title, keyword here. And this is, to some of you, this might be like very obvious. This might be stuff that you've been doing for years. For others of you, you might not know this because you aren't familiar with the YouTube algorithm yet. And this video is really more towards you. It's more towards uh, like the beginning basics and getting a solid foundation rather than just kind of throwing things at the wall and hoping things stick. This is stuff that actually will lay the foundation for you so that way as things pick up and as your videos grow and as you start to become more of a producer and a creator on youtube it'll like compound on itself it'll like uh, piggyback on top of one another and it won't call come crumbling down once once you get you know too big for it to last so inside the description first thing you're wondering going to want to do, I just mumbled a bunch of weird words there, first thing you're going to want to do is keyword. So this is going to be the same thing that you're doing for the title, like you want to have the keyword inside of the description so that way when the algorithm and like the computers that are analyzing all the stuff we do, when they see that, they know that that's what the video is about. After that, CTA or call to action. So. Uh, and a lot of the times, if you're just getting started, you don't even need to do this because sometimes YouTube punishes you for taking people off of the network. So this isn't always necessary to like lead to a link off page. Um, and for this type of thing, it'd be like leading someone to a landing page or leading someone to your website or something. You don't always need to do this. Uh, and I do recommend putting this off for a little while, like until the video starts to gain some traction just so it doesn't look like you're just pushing your links and taking people off of YouTube. Because if you think about it, every single social network that we spend time on, their entire goal is to keep the user on the platform long term. And the reason for that is because then they can sell more ads and they make more money when the user stays on their platform. I hope this is making sense to you. So after this, the simple call to action, it can be as simple as something like did you get value out of this video? Consider giving it a like. Like, like. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And adding this stuff in so it's real. It's like things that people 
will normally do, like actual human-human interaction. Another thing is like consider adding this to a playlist. And what'll happen is playlists are a pretty cool thing because if you can get a lot of people to add your video to a playlist that's relevant to what you're actually going for, uh, you'll start to rank twice. Like you'll rank for your your actual video, like the keyword that you chose, and it'll kind of improve that and hopefully rank in someone else's playlist. And there's another playlist you'll do uh, that's later on in here. But after this, you're gonna want like a 300 to 500 word article, 300 to 500 words article. And what this is, there's, there's two things that you can do for this particular thing. You can go to some site like rev.com, rev.com, and have someone transcribe the entire video that you've done, which basically is just taking, taking the audio out, converting it to text, and then placing the text down here. So it's the same exact stuff uh, that is said in the video. Another thing you can do is just write out uh, like a summary about what happened in the video, or what you talk about in the video. In certain certain videos that I do, I do the transcription, and others I just I go to a website that gives me a spun article, so it's unique, and I'll plug that in down here. It's something that's usually relevant, something related. Um, for this, it, I'm gonna, I'm talking about video marketing, so in the article that'll be down below, it'll probably be something educational about video marketing. So it's you're you're starting to see that it like makes logical sense, right? Um, after this, what do you do? You say, check out other videos. Yeah. So for this particular thing, this is going to be where you're going to share more of your videos. So if you're just getting started on YouTube, you don't have a lot of content. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to pick three of the videos that you do have. And you're going to do title and then link. And you're going to do this again, title, link. You do this three times, and this is going to link up, so it's kind of like a web of your videos. So let's say this is a video that you have. I'm sorry if I went off the screen there. So they're going to kind of link up to each other. And what happens is when you do this, it's, uh, it's just like how Google functions, like backlinks and kind of creating an ecosystem around the videos allows you to rank better because things are you know, linking up to relevant other things. Hope this makes sense. Um, next thing, like this, browse the channel. And for this particular thing, you'll link up your channel. So you'll go to the top screen where it says like HTTPS, uh, like youtube.com slash user slash all that stuff. And you'll take that and you'll put that down here. So it'll be the link to your actual channel, like your your channel homepage. So that way someone can, uh, if they choose to want to learn more about you, they can click it. And that also is another one of these links. So it's going to improve your channel ranking long term. And this is all stuff that uh, you'll want to incorporate into every single video you upload. Next up, playlists. So you'll want to have the name of your playlist. So for this particular thing, it's all about optimizing YouTube videos. So a playlist that I could have, uh, the title of it, I'm just using an example, I might change it, I might not, but it could be how to get more views on YouTube, and then a link to the full playlist. And I can incorporate other people's videos as well as mine, so that way everyone kind of wins, right? You're, you're not just keeping people on your personal stuff, you're kind of giving other people the opportunity to get exposure too. Um, next thing, other great videos. And this is where you're actually, this, this sounds kind of like counterintuitive, but um, you're going to be linking up to another really good video from another creator that talks about a similar thing to your video. And what happens is when you do this, you're, you're sending out like a ping to another website, another channel, all within the YouTube atmosphere. And when you do this, there's the chance, not like any guarantees or anything, that that video will like see it and register it, and then you'll show up in the suggested videos or the rec recommended videos to watch after someone watches uh, the video that you link to. And you'll notice if you've ever <laughs> paid any attention on YouTube, at the end of videos, there's always recommended videos and there's stuff on the side and all of that. Um, next thing is other channels or other channel. 
And for this particular thing, you want to find a channel that's in your niche or niche, whatever you want to call it. I, I say niche. Um, you know, find another one that's similar to yours and then link up to their channel. Like go, go to their channel, copy that full domain name and then put that down here. And what happens is when this is all linked up together, uh, it's giving YouTube like a very relevant piece of information, something that they can use and take into account. So that way they can hopefully find the best, the best information for what you're actually doing. And this actually, this doesn't even take into account like proper thumbnail use and proper titles and you know keywords and all that stuff. This is this is just like basics that you'll want to do to optimize your YouTube videos to get more traffic to your particular channel. So if you have questions about this, please do not hesitate to ask. Ask down below. And I'm actually going to link up in the first comment the thing that I told you about where I actually learned this. Uh, my friend Ben Jakes, he has a course called Video Ranking Club, and I'm gonna link that up. It's an incredible course. It teaches like all this stuff in detail so that way you'll understand every reason for it. And he actually includes a lot of stuff that uh, I didn't share in this video, like stuff for kind of having other people do this all for you, which is <laughs> it was originally like my favorite part of investing in his course. Um, but that's it. Consider subscribing as well if you haven't, wherever the button happens to be. Thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate it. And I hope you have an awesome day, night, week, whatever happens to be. I'll see you in the next video.